Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I got a quick Tech Tuesday video for you guys. Uh, a few of you have asked about the circuit breakers in our aircraft and how they work and what they look like and how many of them there are uh, is kind of been the, the theme of the questions, I suppose. So I'm sitting in one of our Hawkers right now and pretty much all the Hawkers are the same and all the Gulfstreams are the same. I will try and show you one of the Gulfstreams at some point, show you all the breakers in that one. Uh, but while we're in the Hawker, I figured I'd uh, show this one off a little bit. I'm actually sitting right in front of uh, one of the uh, circuit breaker panels. Circuit breakers are just like fuses, uh, you know, basically the same thing. Just like you have a circuit breaker panel in your house, we have a circuit breaker panel in our airplanes. When we have an electrical uh, short, for instance, one of these breakers could potentially pop. It should pop if you have a short. Um, and then it would protect the system from fire. That's really the main purpose. If you didn't have these and you ended up with a short circuit, you could just continue putting power to that, uh, that short, end up with a big fire. Fire on airplanes are like fires on boats. You, you just don't want those. So anyway, this is one of our, our breaker panels right here. Notice we've got a whole bunch here. We've got a few switches here. These are the uh, uh, avionics master bypasses. So here you see all the uh, breakers sitting right behind the co-pilot's head. And you might think, well, that's not too bad. There's not too many of those, but let me show you the rest of them. Here we go. There are the rest of the circuit breakers. There are a lot. Yep. And notice some of them have uh, color coordination to them. You got some blue ones down here. You got a red one. You got some white ones. Up here, you got another uh, couple of red ones. And then over here, you got a yellow one. This one right here is probably one of the most important circuit breakers in this airplane. If we ever have a, a runaway uh, electric pitch trim situation, you definitely want to be able to get to that one very quickly. Uh, obviously, you got a couple of fire extinguisher uh, breakers over here. If we ever had to pop one of those, got a couple of uh, screen heater ones over here that are white. Down here, again, you got the fire one is the uh, for the APU fire extinguisher that's red. A couple of white ones over here for fuel quantity. And then all this down here is the video controllers, audio controllers, things like that. Just a little bit of color coordination to make it easier to find some of them. But like I said, that one right up there, that bad boy will save your bacon if you, uh, if you know where that is one day. There was actually a recent runaway pitch trim situation uh, on a Republic, I think it was Republic uh, aircraft, um, out of Atlanta here a little while back. They took off and had a runaway pitch trim. They took off, obviously from Atlanta, you know, down low, and they ended up at 15,000 feet before they could get the aircraft under control. The, uh, the pitch trim just kept on going up. It was uh, a short in the system as it turns out. So yeah, it was, it was a pretty bad one, but luckily they were light on, uh, on the passenger load. I think they were light on fuel. So they really saved the day on, on getting everybody on the ground safely. Could have ended up really badly. Uh, a good friend of mine actually knows the pilots on it. And I think he said he's flown that airplane a few times um, for Republic. And uh, yeah, bad situation, but uh, the Embraer E-175s, I think they're all being inspected for the same problem. Hopefully we don't ever see it again, because if that had been with a full load of fuel, full load of passengers, it could have been bad. So anyway, that's our uh, circuit breaker panel. Hopefully you guys uh, maybe learn a little something new about circuit breakers and where they are on this particular airplane. Something a little different perhaps. So anyway, hopefully you guys like it. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.